Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group, and it's Friday. So that means that it's another page in the page by page uh, collaboration with Kyung Shotwell. Now, Kyung's links are uh, below the video uh, to, to her um, YouTube channel and her Etsy store. Um, we happen to be using a kit this week by Kyung, and it's called Shabby Chic Traveler. So you want to head on over to her shop and either pick that one up, which you should because it's really cool, or one of the other great uh, kits that she has over there. Okay, so um, here's our book so far. And this week's uh, prompt was stencil. So here it is over here. Whoa, here it is down here, stenciling. And Kyung picked the prompt. So we'll move our list out of the way. Our list has 100 plus a couple that I added, but they're not included in the in the uh, collaboration yet. Um, but 100 prompts that I got from all over um, the web. And um, if you look below the video, there's a uh, link to. Um, two of the uh, sites that helped me out with making this list. Okay, so go, be sure to go visit them as well. Okay, so there's that. And so here's our book. Let me turn this over so it's not distracting. Oh yeah, it's not distracting. Anyway, oh, first of all, let me tell you that if you're a member of the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group, then you can get a step-by-step, -step, or you will get a step-by-step -step PDF of all 32 pages so far that I have done in this project. So for today, there's 14 steps that we're going to do. And so for today's page in the PDF, then you would have all 14 steps plus the kit and uh, everything that you need will be listed there, um, plus links to anywhere that uh, we need to send you. And like I said, every week up until today has the same thing. All right, so head on over to the Facebook group, sign up and get that. All right, I think that's all that stuff. So here's our book, or our signature, which is half of our book, and um, we're on page 32, which we just did the uh, center. And uh, that was an uh, Asian theme. And um, I believe this week was um, tag. And so we made a hidden pocket with the tag in it with this beautiful kit. And then, um, and that kit is listed in last week's video if you didn't catch it. Um, this is week 30, this is week 31. And, um, right, we're on 32. Let's see. Now I'm not on the right page. I believe we're on 32. Yeah, this was page 30 and 31, and today we're on page 32. <laughs> That's what I get for showing it to you, huh? And then this was uh, 31, which is uh, the prompt was tag, and it's a tag-shaped notebook. Again, with the Asian theme for my center spread and another hidden pocket. This beautiful kit by Taylor Made Journals. So you can head on over there too. Oops, there we go. My staple's kind of getting stuck. So I'll have to fix that. Okay. So now we're on page 32 and this page opens this way. Um, we may put page 32 on page 33 and then uh, put page 33 on the one numbered 32. Uh, depending on if we need it to open this way or if it's okay opening this way, and you'll see why in just a minute. So we're gonna set this to the side. And I just wanna show you real quick, I was trying to figure out what color ink to use with my stencil this week. 
And so I looked at my swatch sheet that I've made and it's a little messy right now. I need to redo it. But um, these are all the colors of the Tim Holtz um, Distress inks and a couple of the, um, what do you call them? The, uh, oh, what do you call them? What do you call them? Not the Distress inks, but the other ones that are more opaque. I'm having a brain freeze. I'm sure I'll think of them pretty soon. I'm really having a brain freeze in this video, aren't I? Anyway, so if you do something like this, it will help you pick out your color that you need instead of having to go through each one and doing a sample and trying to decide. So today we're using gathered twigs. Okay, so that's the color that we're using today. Let's set that to the side. And um, we're using a stencil obviously. And here are, is our paper and our backing paper for today. We're going to be using a large business envelope. And here's some of the ephemera that comes with the kit. Now, of course, I've cut out a little bit of what I'm going to use. So here's the big tags and they're together. So they're actually booklet tags. If our project was big enough, we would be using one of these. And then of course across the bottom are the little um, little uh, tags uh, with writing on them. And I've cut out the one that we're going to use. And here's some of the other ephemera. And I cut out the one we're going to use. And I was very close to using the one with the suitcase on it. But um, I decided in the end for a different one. Um, yeah, because this one, which I really liked with the butterfly on it, see, that's pretty, but I uh, printed it with the image upside down. I wonder if on a writing card if that would make a difference, to tell you the truth. Let me just flip it over that way. I think I'm going to use that one. I'll show you in a minute the other one I cut out. And then we're also going to use a card along with, uh, or this is one of the cards, and I rounded the corners and I inked it. And these are some of the other cards that you can use. Okay, so that's cool. It's a very nice kit. All right, so here's a card. We're also going to use doilies, small ones. Here's some of the ephemera. Here's the ephemera we're going to use. I'm going to put this card in here and we're going to see how it how it works. We might be able to use both to tell you the truth. We might be able to use both. Probably not though. Um, and this is a sample envelope of what we're going to do today. So not with the paper clip but um, actually that would work. Well we'll have to look and see. We'll have to look and see which way looks better. Gluing it on the page or uh, paper clipping it on the page. It all depends on which backing paper we use. So anyway, here's a sample. We're going to stencil the envelope. Then we're going to do these fancy little folds that give us different um, pockets. Okay, and so this is the sample of what we're going to do today. So let's set these things aside for when we do our card. And we are going to have to get it back out in a minute. Let's set our backing page and our paper to the side. And we'll keep our stencil out because we need to stencil our envelope first. And since we don't know how much of this is going to show until we fold it, we're going to uh, stencil all of it down to the part that we know for sure we're going to cover. Okay, so let's get out our brush and our stencil, which um, the... Um, page has uh, doilies, but the um, the other page that I u almost used had uh, roses and doilies um, because of the shabby chic. And um, you know, I should get out some lace to tell you the truth. I might put you on hold and get out some lace to put on here for the shabby chic. Okay. Um, anyway, so let's uh, use our rose stencil. Let's do this. Now, I actually am going to move it up because I definitely want the flowers to be the part that shows, if nothing else. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and get some ink on here. And we're gonna stencil this. I'm gonna ink it, ink the stencil, I guess is probably a better way to put it. I'm gonna do it fairly dark because of the white envelope. I think the contrast looks good. Try to do it without having to, you know, gonna have to move my hand. So apparently on the farther west coast of Washington, now the state of Washington um, has a flat side, then it has a flat top, and then it comes down around to the sound, and that's where I live, and then it's square pretty much the rest of the state. There was a tsunami warning. Uh, Kyung messaged me and wanted to know if I was going to get washed away, um, which, no. But we do have tsunami escape routes here, depending on if a tsunami comes down the Strait of Juan de Fuca, which is the top of Washington, and down into the sound. But apparently an underwater volcano blew and uh, caused a tsunami, and I don't know if it was far enough away that it was gonna be really small here or what, but apparently it was the whole coast of California and the outer coast of Washington. So fortunately that, um, I wonder if there's a smaller rose than that. Yes, let's turn this around so we can get more of the flower on here. Make sure that we don't overlap. Yeah, we're only going to get half, but let's get the half that you can tell it's a flower. Okay, we're going to do the same thing up here. Let's see if we can get some leaves. Yeah, there's a partial flower. Get the leaves. Oops, my tape is sticking there. Okay, and let's do this side over here. Let's try to get the flower again. Let's make sure we're far enough up, but not too far. Let's go up just a smidge. You know what a smidge is, right? <laughs> a teeny bit. But anyway, so... I don't know what happened because I actually don't have cable. I know. So um, I ha I use the internet for my uh, TV and I don't have any regular channels like ABC, NBC, CBS, MSNBC, none of those. All I have is um, some of the streaming services which I probably should not mention in this video because it is not a commercial for the streaming services. Okay, we're done with our, oh no, we're not. We're not done with our stencil. We're gonna hold on to that for just a minute. And then the um, next thing we're gonna do, we've cut the backing paper, cut and inked the paper, which I pre-inked it. Um, cut and inked the card and the ephemera, we did that. And um, we're going to, um, we're going to add the doily to the card. Um, you know, let's do that later on. Let's do that later on. We're going, to, we're going to add the doily to the card as a tab so that it will make it easier to pull the card out of the envelope. Okay, so we're going to glue the envelope shut. If it isn't, no, it's not. So we're going to glue the envelope shut. Sorry, envelope. Yes, I realize we need an opening for the card. Don't worry. And you want to make sure to get this edge. We don't want any of the edge sticking up. You know what I mean? We want to make sure it's completely stuck down. Let's get that edge. Let's make sure we've got this edge as well. Can you always use our dry wet wipe to um, wipe off any glue that seeps out? So let's make sure everything is stuck down 
Let's use the side of our bone folder and make sure. Yeah, that did cause a little bit of glue to seep out. Let's get our dry wet wipe out. All you do to make this, obviously, is uh, lay out a clean wet wipe and um, let it dry. And it works well with seepage on glue. Not really sure why. It also works good, um, or uh, dryer sheets work good on your paper trimmer with the plastic surface. If your paper kind of starts to stick, the static stick, you can uh, use a dryer sheet on it and it will take the stick, the static off, and it will make your paper trimmer smell really good for a little while. Okay. So we are going to, um, let's see, oh, we want to stencil the back of the envelope. Let's see, we're going to fold it up. Let's just, um, let's see, we want to stencil it. Hmm. Trying to figure out how far up I want to fold it. Well, I need to fold it up further because we're going to fold part of it back. So let's just do about this far down on the envelope because that's what's going to show when we fold it up. So we want it to be stenciled as well. I'm stenciling it upside down because when we fold it up, then it'll be right side up. These flowers don't really have a top and a bottom, except I kind of feel like I'll show you after the stenciling is done. I kind of feel like there is, you know, like between the way the flowers are and the way the leaves are, it seems to me like it's directional. Oops. We moved just a little bit. Let's get them. Yeah, definitely moved. Get this last little guy here. This last little guy here. Okay. Wow, so we got that on there without a double. Can't believe I did that. Okay, so we can put our stencil away for right now. Let me have some coffee. Drink it if you got it. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to fold the envelope up to where we're going to do it. Uh, the project here, but we're not going to uh, glue it yet. Okay, so we're going to fold it up and we're going to have to stencil some more actually. So we're going to fold it up and then we're going to fold it down diagonally. Okay, so we do have a little bit of stenciling on there, but now we're going to need to open it back up. And now in the tutorial that I saw by uh, Tanya over at Taddy Treasures, um, she uh, cut this part off. Once you fold it up and once you fold it over, she cut this part off. But I want to make a tuck right here. So um, I'm going to uh, leave it like that. Now, I've got a ticket that I want to put in there, but now that I look at it, I think it might be too long. So we may have to uh, not put anything in there. Looks like we need to stencil right there as well. Looks like I missed a corner that we're going to see. I did this corner and I should have checked to see how far up this was going to go. Let's get our stencil back out. Let's do, just do leaves. 
so we don't mess anything up. Let's see, leaves. Let's just do leaves. Right here in the corner. There we go. And then we want to look and see where this, where we're going to see this. And we're going to open it back up. And we're going to stencil this right here. Make sure your ink pad doesn't get on your uh, thing here and leave a line. All right, so we did the roses this way. So let's do another rose. Let me see what I got here. Let's do another rose. These two roses here. Let's see if I can get them in. If I'm really careful, I can get them in maybe without overlapping. We're not going to see all of it anyway, but okay, look at that. Got the rose right on the fold over. Like I said, we may have to uh, find something small, um, and I didn't cut out anything small, so uh, you'll see it in the picture. I did overlap just a little bit, but um, it's going to be part the part that's folded under wonder if I can get just a little leaf or something on that very tippy tip corner. I think I can. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So anyway, no tsunami. No tsunami escape routes for me to yesterday. But I thought it was very sweet of her to call me or message and check on me to make sure I was still alive. I am alive. Okay, ostensibly, I'm alive. <laughs> I could be mistaken. I'm not going to glue this yet, so I guess I better cover my glue. I know my... Oh, there's ink. I know my glue looks kind of funny in the camera angle, the flower. I changed the angle a little bit, so it looks like now we don't see all of this. So let me move that in. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to ink our envelope. I almost forgot to do that. But we had to wait until we folded it so we know where the fold is so we can ink it. So let's ink our envelope. And we don't have to super ink it. We just want it to stand out from the page a little bit other than the stenciling. We're going to do that. This is going to be folded up. Um, let's see. We need to ink the bottom. And then we're going to ink the fold. Hmm. wonder if we should ink the fold. We do need to ink this and this. So, I don't think we need to um, ink the fold. I think the fold is fine without it. Mm, no, let's ink it. We've inked everything else, so I think it might look funny if we don't ink it right here. Since it is actually technically an edge. Yeah, that definitely looks better. Okay, so now we are going to trim this whole side. For the card to slide in and out. Um, 
she folded hers up higher but since we have all this stenciling she didn't stencil she did something else I don't remember what did she stencil I don't remember but it's a great tutorial you might want to go over there and check hers out too because um, she did uh, some other ephemera that's right she did um, ephemera and um, collaging on hers and I'm doing stencils on mine okay so Look with that, we got a black mark. Wonder if I can stencil over it. Look at that. It's like magic. Magic. Okay. I'm going to fold that over. Now we can go ahead and glue the bottom across here. And this side up here so let's do that I think she glued hers differently because she um, cut the flap the fold I mean and made a uh, double pocket instead of a tuck in a pocket So now we're going to, um, let me hold on to that for just a second. It's kind of got to hold a lot. Let's use our bone folder here. Kind of fold it down a little flat. Or flatter. All right. You know, if I just glued this across here, we could have a double tuck. Oh, let's. <laughs> I'm not going to have enough ephemera for all this, but um, you'll know where it goes. What a good idea. See, last minute ideas are perfectly fine sometimes they work out really well I could actually make a third pocket if I um, had cut this open before I folded it up I would have had the folder from the fold or the pocket from the fold and then another pocket from having cut the envelope open okay let's hold this for just a second until it sticks Okay, and now we're going to trim this so our card goes in. It's going to be nice. Yeah, we'll be able to see our card. You know, um, look at that. Another whole card would, would have almost fit in here, but we don't want to cover our window. We want to put something in there now I realize there's a pattern and that I didn't put anything inside but it's an envelope it has a nice pattern so let's just leave it so now let's just trim this off of course now we're gonna to have to re-ink it because I wasn't thinking it's not Tuesday it's not Tuesday I only think on Tuesdays I don't know if I ever told you guys that or before I should try to fit all my videos in on Tuesday recording them but I really like recording videos to tell you the truth and um, so I um, record almost every day okay. so 
So that's going to make our side pocket. Oh, we can't clip it on. Oh, yes, we could actually. That would be kind of neat, wouldn't it? But there's not enough. Oh, sure there is. There's a suitcase and a big doily on our paper or suitcase trim. We could actually clip it on. And then we could clip it on this side. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to make it a floating stenciled envelope tuck pocket. Da 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 da. With a card. That way we've got it five. Odd numbers better. All right, so here we go. So now we want to double check with the card. So our card's going to, oops, come here. Let's put them both in here. Two writing cards. So let's put our cards in here. So that means I wonder if we need the, yeah, it looks like we're going to. See, this made it tight. Oh, look at that. Fits right in there. I am so happy with that. Yes, I am. Okay, now we're going to put the word travel on here. And we're going to put it right there. Move it over. Wonder if I should put it right here, and that's gonna cover our roses. We can put it up here. Yeah, I think we will. Let's see. We're gonna need to take these cards out because um, they fit so far in. We're going to need to um, put tabs on them. Um, you know, I wonder if they're exact enough that I could glue them back to back. No, there's no reason to do that. Okay, I'll put the doily on one and show you. That way we don't go way over with super too duper too much time and then you can do the second one if you want you know what I mean you can add the second card if you want so let's take this card and we'll set it to the side set it with this over here okay so let's check on our little card Yep, it's going to fit in there fine. Boy, and our ticket is going to fit in here, but it's really going to stick out. So we're going to have to find something else. I don't know why I didn't check that first. Um, I'm sure there's something in the kit that we could use. Let me... I've got some smaller tickets. Here we go. Yeah, that would definitely fit in there. So let's take the two most interesting ones. I'm actually using ephemera from a different kit that I put in a Ziploc bag named tickets so I'm really proud of myself I want you guys to know that um, I haven't been sorting my ephemera um, I just been throwing it in a shoebox and um, now I'm not making a cluster for this but but I actually could 
do something like this. Let's take these two out. What if I did something like this up here? Oh, that would cover the um, the card. It would look nice though if you had an envelope that didn't have the um, clear window for the tag then you could put this on here easily if you had some tickets and it would look really really nice okay so we're gonna put this up here wonder I think it's gonna make it too busy I and mean, I'm wondering about the word travel I'm wondering if we should put it down here even though it's over our rows because I don't want to make it too busy up here because of the card inside. Yeah, I think I better put it down here. So we're definitely not doing this in the order that I wrote it down, but the order I wrote it down obviously will work just fine. Kind of wrote the ephemera last, but, um, and I don't think I wrote decorate envelope on there because I think I was just going to leave it the stencil or the stenciling with the rows. Oh, why don't we put it here? We can still put our ticket in and out. Because that way we still see our rows. To me, um, if you're going to put a word on and you're going to put it vertically, I feel like if the word faces with the bottom of the word to the left, that it, it's easy to read. If you put it this way, it seems upside down to me. That's just me. Let's make sure this is completely stuck down so that our tickets don't catch on it when we put them in and out. It's too bad we couldn't use this. Um, it's really cool. This may come from Kyung's train um, kit. I'm not sure. I don't want to say for sure, but it might. Okay, so let's, we can, um, you know, we might want to cut them in half and just kind of stick them in there, tuck them in there. So we don't want to cover up our word travel, I'm pretty sure. End up snipping my hand. I've done that before and it's no fun. No fun. Let's see how much ink I have on here. Good thing I remembered to do this. I'm very surprised that I did. <laughs> Come here, take it. But I like the more interesting ones with the writing on them. I'm not sure I remember where I get the tickets from. They're definitely ephemera from a kit, but I really honestly do not remember. Um, these are uh, printed on the back with what looks like a paper pattern. I'm not going to glue those. We're just going to stick them in here. Like that. We're going to have our card here like this. Then we're going to put um, a doily on our big card. And are we going to put this white lace on? We could put it right here. Yeah, I kind of like it there. So let's keep that out. And then let's get, you know, we could probably use that lace. No, that's the only place we need it. We need the doily for 
for the tab. Okay. So now with this, we're going to have to trim it down. It's going to seem weird, but well, I don't know because to put it on this side. It still says Great Wall. So we're going to fold it so part of it sticks out. Let's see if that's far enough to use as a tab. Add the card in here. And we got the um, toily. Hmm. Kind of wondering about that. I have to ink it up. Very white. That's my reminder that Miss Paint a Lot's going to be live in a half an hour. You'd like her videos too. And she does a live on every Sunday. You can look her up, Miss Paint a Lot, on YouTube. Now we're going to wait. We're going to need to ink wherever it is we fold it. What I was thinking of doing was folding it and cutting it in half so that we could trim a little bit off. Do you know what I mean? And then glue it on. So let's see how far out we need it to stick. Let's put this back on our glue for now. All right. Because I think we're going to need the whole thing. Because. Because it, it's going to need to stick out pretty far. We're going to fold it in half anyway. This is very, very white. Well, the. Um, What I was going to say. Oh, the envelope is white. And the doily on the page is white. So, we'll be alright. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yep. Okay. So, let's, let's see how far we got to go. Let's see, let's Put it where we can see Great Wall. And if we put it in half, like so, how far in do we need to go to make the tab? I think we could just use the whole thing and fold it in half. That would be so much easier. Okay. Hmm. I really want to see the roses to match this. This almost looks like I pulled out. Oh yeah, look at that. I have three doilies. Let's take those two away. Let's make sure we got all the edges on this. So these two will definitely need to be folded in half for something else. They aren't inked though. Put them in the front. in the front so I know. Okay. I think we can just fold this in half and put glue on the white part. I think that's what I'm going to do. Thinking on the fly. Thinking on the fly. I think 
I think that'll work. I'm layering, people. I'm layering. Look at that. It's a miracle. <laughs> the reason I'm inking the whole th or gluing the whole thing is because part of it's going to fold in half and stick to the other side. So we need to make sure we've got glue on the whole thing. If I have to come back and put a little bit of glue on the lace, if it looks like it's going to catch on the um, edge of the envelope, then, um, then we'll do that. Let's make sure this is straight. And we'll glue it on. Yeah, I think we're going to have to glue this part. Let's go ahead and do that. Just kind of put a little glue around the edge here. So it doesn't um, stick out and catch on the uh, envelope. And put that down. We we'll use our tri wet wipe to get anything extra. It seeps out. And I'm not going to stencil a rose on there, even though I am very, very tempted to do so. Let me look at this. Yep, it looks straight too. Wow. Well, what do you know? So let's check everything. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. So now we're going to clip that on our page. So we can set it aside. Oh no, we're going to put the lace on. Do we need the lace? Because there's doilies everywhere and it would just cover up our rows. We have these, we have that. You know, I'm going to say no to the lace for right now. I I may come back later and do it, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to. We have all the doilies. I'm not sure that it needs anything else because it's just going to be too much. We have doilies instead of lace. So let's um, decide which one. If we want the doily on the bottom or the doily on the top, which we can obviously flip it over. Oh, that would make them, oh no, they are different. Um, this one has this, I think I'm gonna go with the lighter colored one. You can see the stitching a little bit better. Okay, make sure I've got everything else out of the way. So we're going to need our book here in a minute. So we're going to glue this paper on the backing paper. Oh, I do need a little bit of the lace. I'm going to put it on the um, on the paper clip. Everything has a place. There's a place for everything. And apparently I don't remember where the place is for the scissors. Okay, let's set this aside and put it back in our um, Ziploc bag. What is up with me and the words today? Can you guys just believe that I can't think of anything that I'm supposed to be thinking of? Let's put this on here. See if I can pull it through. There we 
go. Apparently I'm having a little issue with the hands. Okay, so let's do this on here. Let's see if we can make it tight enough that it doesn't slide all around. Yeah, that's pretty good. I want it to kind of hang down. Let's see if I can get it to go straight down. This ribbon is soft. You know what I mean? It doesn't um, stick out everywhere. I mean, it's not stiff. I think if I kind of worked with it a little bit, there we go. I could get it to hang straight down, which is what I want. Okay. So let's glue this to the backing paper, which is um, tan and not cream colored this time. Well, like we were talking about this tsunami earlier, I'm glad I didn't have to go find my tsunami route because I don't remember where the signs are. And I kind of live at the top of a hill, and I don't think by the time it got here it would be very big if it did, did come down the Strait of Juan de Fuca. I think you guys should go look it up as your homework, where that is. Divides... Um, the United States from uh, Canada, actually. From that there big island. I believe that's British Columbia. Geography lesson. Weather lesson. Stenciling and papering and envelope folding lesson. I think, I think we've covered so much today. And in just an hour, I'm going to glue this to the, to the book. So let's get the section we're going to glue it to. Get that out. Yeah. See, I had a brain freeze there for a minute. I had another one. How many is that today? It's like four or five. So today I had brain freezes instead of bad jokes. I'm not sure. I think I'd rather have the bad jokes because <laughs> the uh, brain freezes are not very interesting where my bad jokes, of course, are very interesting. So we're gonna glue this to the book make sure we make it even this is kind of curved so we're going to have to kind of mush it around and make sure it sticks let's straighten this up a little bit okay glue that down very nice very very nice and then we'll just clip this to the page which is the wrong side, but we can clip it up here. What if we clip it from the top? That would work. And then our ribbon would stick out the top. Let's not do it where it's gonna catch on the window. Let's paper clip it over here. Make sure these stick out. Very nice. We got the same ribbon or similar ribbon over here on a tag that sticks out so that matches. You know me, love things that match. Oh, that lines right up with that there. Let's see if we can do that on this one. This isn't even the page we're on, but there we go. Look at that, improvements improvements are always welcome all right so we've got this clipped on this page look at that i like it so that's our page for today it's ended up being a floating pocket with stenciling on it 
and um, you know what we're not done gonna have to stencil the whole back now if we're gonna make a floating pocket out of it can't just leave half of it white that would be crazy so let's stencil the, finish stenciling the back about that We should be able to fit almost this whole stencil on here. Let's make it straight. Then we'll be done. I'm glad I realized. Otherwise, when you take it off, it would have just been half of a or a blank envelope on half of it. There we go. All right, that didn't take very long. A little afterthought there. Let me clip it back on, and then we'll say this is our page for today. How about that? Okay. Now, this is our page for today. We could even have the uh, doily sticking out the side in a little tab. Now, if this was thicker um, than just this paper, um, I could put an eyelid on it and um, add a charm. But this pap paper is not thick enough to hold an eyelid. Okay, so that is our page for today. And that means that's our video for today. And um, I will see you in the next video, which will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good week.